Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. How's it going? How's it going? So, I just noticed something I want to show you guys. Hold on, let me see if I can pick it up. Right there, you know what? I don't really want to go that close. I don't want to go that close. I want to show you guys something. I think I have like two, two breeding pairs of tiger silver owls. I'm not sure. I think I just saw something over there in the corner by that heater over there. All right. Um, you know what? Hold on, guys. Let me let me let me take a seat and sit quietly. See if I could catch it. All right. Hold on. I don't know if you guys could see this right here, but right there. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, caught it. Caught it. Breeding activity right there. They just, they just did it. They just bred. I wanted to catch that on video so bad. Just caught it. But of course, you know, the rays, the rays are going to sweep the bottom of the tank and they're going to eat it. <clears throat> but what I noticed with these Tiger Silver Dollars, I don't know if anyone has them and I don't really want to go too close but you see how on their gills the bottom of their gills get that dark oh man they get that dark purple ish color the purple black or whatever but under the gill right there see they get purple Three of them was purple yesterday, but now only two of them got that purple black gills. And the two, of course, that was purple just now, you guys saw. Luckily, I just video real quick. So you guys could see that they just saw, um, they just bred, they just dropped eggs. <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do, guys, I don't know if I'll remember these two, because like I said, oh, there we go again. Oh, they're doing it on the heater. Oh man, the heater is hot. It's gonna just, it's gonna die. They like that corner. I think that's why the stingrays normally chill in that corner right there too. Because you get fresh caviar every day, you know? Caviar, caviar, how do you say that? I don't know. <clears throat> but um, where are they? That's done. That's done. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. So you can see them better. You guys see the two, right? One, two. But, um, oh, they're going to go again. They're going to go again. One more shot. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, yep. Got it again. Got it again, guys. Got it again, man. I don't know if I'll remember these guys because that black or purple or whatever color underneath their gills, it go away and it go back normal. They go back looking to like that guy right there. So there's no way for me to actually tell which ones or keep track on which ones are actually um, <clears throat> dropping eggs right now. But um, anyway, that's all I want to show you guys, you know, a little breeding activity. Also, also... I don't know how to say this guys, but um Hold on two seconds. I'll show you guys That's it. That's what I want to show you guys Bass tank is empty uh, Except for these two right here <clears throat> But Bass tank is empty guys Nope, they didn't pass away. This is actually, um, they actually went to a bigger, bigger, better home. Um, and no, not, not Ohio Fish Rescue. Um, so this tank was getting overcrowded. Like it was, it, they, they were getting so big. These guys were getting so big. The smallest one I had in there was probably the smaller Reno and he was probably at 12 inches. And the biggest one I had in there was like 15, 16 inches. So they were they were getting huge, man. And um, this is a, this is only a hundred. Oh, sorry, 220 gallon tank, six foot long, two foot back to front, and 31 inches high. 220 gallons. Okay. So um, this tank was getting way too small for them. I really don't want to upgrade right now because I have future plans, guys. Future plans. Can't really tell you guys what's going on right now, but you stick with me, you're gonna find out exactly what's going on, man. All right, guys, but um, 
like I said, there's a 220 gallon tank. And um, I, if I'm not mistaken, they're going in um, a 300 gallon tank. I think a couple of them are going in a 300 gallon tank and the rest is going in another 300 gallon tank. Something to that extent, but they're going in definitely, they're going in a tank where they have way more space than what I could actually give them right now. So um, yeah guys, they're gone. They're gone. Went to a good home. Great buddies of mine came down all the way from, where was that? Pennsylvania? Yeah man, Pennsylvania. Great guys, man. Great guys, amazing guys. But um, yeah, it's going guys. And um, of course, this tank is still here. I don't really like that. I don't know. It's like, I think that driftwood is releasing tannins in the water, man. And it's. I don't really like that color at all. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, that's all I got for you guys now. But I'll update you as I go along. All right. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys later.